You think Tabata's a mother game? Tabata is not a mother game. It's not even a mother game. Hey man, you got some of that Tabata? You got some of that Tabata? Got some of that Tabata? What's up, players? What's going on, Zen Dude Nation? This is Dan Whitmer, and we have another workout today, only this one is a Tabata workout. Tabata is a workout protocol. It's a type of high intensity interval training and it lasts for four minutes. And what you're doing during those four minutes is 20 patterns of 20 second all out 100% max intensity followed by 10 seconds of complete rest. It was developed by Japanese doctor Izumi Tabata. And his original study was conducted on Olympic speed skaters to see if the skaters would benefit more from longer, more moderate exercise or short, short bursts of super intense exercise. Group 1 did moderately intense exercise 5 hours a week for 6 weeks, total workout time 1800 minutes. Group 2 completed 5 Tabata circuits a week for 6 weeks. So remember that's 4 minutes each workout, so that's only 120 minutes total of workout time. But the results were crazy man! Now Group 2 actually experienced, now remember they worked out for only 120 minutes compared to 1800, and they experienced a bigger increase in both muscle strength and heart strength, anaerobic and aerobic. Let me make one thing clear. The athletes who were used in the study that Dr. Izumi Tabata conducted were going at a 170% of their VO2 max. I'm not gonna get into the science, but that is like all out batshit crazy, I'm running from a lion for my life kind of fast. It's gotta be all out max intensity as hard as you can go for that 20 second duration. If you'll notice in the video you're about to watch, I am completely gassed in all of these sets and that's how you should feel. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up below. Also subscribe if you wanna always receive free weekly workouts and tutorials or anything involving getting lean and just having more fun with the jump rope. If you want our favorite jump rope that's used in this video, check out the link below. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not gonna say much. We gotta go all out max intensity here. So if you see I'm starting running in place, now go ahead and switch it up between running in place, uh, regular bounce, boxer skip, mummy kicks, whatever you can do the fastest. My main objective in this, in each one of these circuits, each one of these 20 second durations, is to spin that rope and keep it spinning as fast as I can. So you guys also notice that I'm using the cross rope, which is slightly weighted, and also the handles are slightly weighted. I probably could do this much faster if I was using a steel, a steel uh, speed speed rope, excuse me. Um, but I think it's more beneficial in this case to use a heavier rope and spin it just slightly slower, because if you notice, my body is basically at full torque constantly. So I'm getting that upper body muscular workout because the rope is forcing my muscles to do a lot of work. Ladies and gentlemen, come on, let's go, let's go. And you should be progressively getting sweatier and sweatier. I know that when I did this workout, by the end of this, I was profusely sweating and got a bunch of sweat actually all over my camera gear. It's pretty gross, but nothing broke, so it's all good, you know what I mean? All out, ladies and gentlemen. Like I say, you don't have to focus on the time that you're working out, but you do have to focus on the intensity. If you're intense, that's the only way the body is going to adapt and change and lose fat. Okay, that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to burn the most amount of body fat we possibly can. Come on guys, home stretch, only a few left, only a few left. Keep it going, here you'll see me doing mummy kicks again. Feel free to do what you feel comfortable with. Um, regular bounce. Guys, your forearms and biceps are going to feel like they are on fire. So one thing you, I'm doing is, you notice here, I switch it up from 
like running in place to regular bounce because that makes it a whole lot easier for me to just continue jumping rope without slowing down whereas when you're just going regular bounce and just jumping on those two feet your arms get so tired that you do want to kind of stop on the toes for the last one come on ladies and gentlemen like i said if you feel up to it repeat the circuit another time or twice more and have a great rest of your day ladies and gentlemen remember to subscribe thank you for watching this video it would mean the world to brandon and myself if you guys would subscribe Check out some of the other videos that are listed here so that you can become better at jumping rope, happier and healthier, and just all around lean and having fun because that's what this is all about.